Luckily, I got my voice back, but had to go nearly a week without it. And that wasn't easy for me. See, my voice has always been central to my identity. Growing up as a skinny Asian kid, I often felt weak, overlooked, unmasculine. But my voice felt like the opposite, loud, deep, powerful. Like Samson's hair, my voice was my source of strength. But then something happened. Five years ago, I started to feel really shitty. Good old hypothyroidism. I constantly felt sick, exhausted, depressed, and worst of all, I kept getting sore throats all the fucking time. Talk too much? Sore throat. Not enough sleep? Sore throat. Play guitar and sing? Sore throat. How cruel. Right, my illness had to strip away the one thing that felt most like me. But that wasn't all I lost. The depression made me lose upbeat Jamin. The exhaustion made me lose creative Jamin. Losing my voice made me lose extroverted Jamin. I lost everything I saw as me. Or at least I thought I did. That whole time, I thought I was losing myself, but I was actually being forced to discover myself. Through depression, I connected with my darkness. Through exhaustion, I discovered the joys of introversion. And through losing my voice, I ended up finding my inner voice. Being sick didn't take from me, it expanded me. Now I feel equally at home talking or being silent, connecting with others or with myself, celebrating joy or nurturing sorrow. It's a funny thing when you lose everything you thought was you. You realize you were never your voice, your job, your relationship, your success. None of those could possibly contain you. Quite the opposite, actually. You are what all those come and go within. This is the gift of loss, of a breakup, of getting fired, of being sick. It's the shedding of false identities, a letting go of imagined constraints. Lose everything you thought was you and discover you are far more expansive than you ever could have imagined.